Well, whether it's from skiing, soccer, or just walking down the stairs wrong, a torn ACL, it's not a fun injury to have. But what can be done if your pet has mm -hmm. torn its ACL? Dr. Stephen Haymore from the Alpine Animal Hospital joins us now. So we're built sort of the same. I yes. mean, we have the same bone structure and the ligaments do the same things and the yep. tendons do the same things. But how is a torn ACL different from a human than a canine? Very good. So uh, they do tear their ACLs just like uh, humans do. It's called a cranial cruciate in dogs and okay. cats. So it would be CCL, but for to keep it simple, we'll say ACL. Oh, okay. To as torn ACL. But they do walk on their toes, and so where we walk flat-footed, so they put a little more tension on the ACL ligament than we do. Okay. Are bit. there certain things that dogs can do to make it so that they tear their ACL? I mean, is this something you can help them avoid? Right. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to avoid. I think, you know, unless you're keeping them calm all the time, it's one of those <laughs> things that's a non-contact injury, like in sports, uh -huh. they just land on it wrong, okay. you know, jump or twist it or goes in a hole or something as they're running huh. and they uh, tear it. Okay. So what's the procedure to, to repair it? Okay. The, the procedure that we do at Alpine Animal Hospital, and I have a couple of props here. There's, um, this is a picture of a dog with a normal uh, ACL ligament, and then okay. there's one with a torn ligament. And so the, the procedure we do um, is a bone plate that we put in there. It's called a tibial plateau leveling osteotomy. Sure so it is. Basically we, <laughs> so we have a picture of it yeah, here. Yeah, so is that it is what it looks like after. That's the stainless steel plate that we use. Um, we change the angle of the top of the shin bone to eliminate the need for the ligament. Okay. In humans, they transplant the ligament. Uh -huh. In dogs and cats, we eliminate the need for the ligament. So they come in with a torn ligament, and they leave that day with a surgically repaired broken bone. Interesting. Cut bone. Okay. Yeah. Now you have another model here. Yes. Kind of, this is what it looks like when their ACL Absolutely. is broken. How their yep. foot works so, or leg so works. So this is how a dog walks. This is a model of a dog that walks with a torn ACL. So every time they walk, you can see that forward thrust. Rubbing. That's the shin bone. This is the knee. So you can see it thrusting forward. So what we do, and I take measurements off of X-rays and find where the forces are. We just take it, rotate that bone just a little bit. Put a plate in like we saw earlier, okay. and um, that eliminates the need. That eliminates Hard that move. forward thrust. Okay. okay. So, pretty neat procedure. It's been a very rewarding procedure because they do come in, it's broken, and we fix it. That's and excellent. and you guys are one of the very few that can do this type of procedure. Right. We're the only ones in Pocatello that are performing this procedure. This is a dog that I did here that uh, it had one done and it was doing the other one. Huh. So, uh, we was getting prepared to repair the second one. And uh, yeah, we are the only ones around doing this. It's the one that most specialists are doing. So mm -hmm. if you went to okay. an orthopedic specialist, this is the procedure they're doing. Seems to be the best long-term management for it. So then if they do tear, tear their ACL, is it a given they need surgery? Are there other options as well? What are some of the things there owners There are different do? surgical procedures, but once a dog tears its ACL, it will it's never heal on done. its own. Huh. Um, fortunately for us, it is one of the few things in veterinary medicine that's easy to diagnose. You can almost diagnose it from across the room. Wow. Mm -hmm. They have a very classic stance. They're just toe touching. It oh. never gets better, even with pain okay. medication. Um, we see it. I've seen dogs walking down the street and be able can to see point. right yeah. there. Mm -hmm. And just very quickly, with humans, we get the crutches and the big casts. Right. What's the recovery time for an animal? Right. Very tough to have an animal lay down with its leg up in the air <laughs> for three weeks. Yeah. So uh, about two to four months as that bone okay. is healing. Yeah. All right. And if somebody would like to have, have questions, ask you about it, can they contact your uh, hospital there? Absolutely. Call the Alpine Animal Hospital. I'd be more than happy to discuss it. Fantastic. Excellent. Thank you very much, Dr. Haymore. Thank you.